wither where the willows walk. Hither with the winds that talk. Long before the man and chip, there was, there is, there will be. Posted, it will be official. You and I are going to advanced algebra. Am I right? High five. Okay, everybody, have a seat, please. Before we get started today, we have some very important business to attend to. Business that involves a cake. And some candles. That's right, we have a birthday to celebrate today. In addition to our traditional class party hat, I am providing one get out of homework free pass. Good for any assignment this semester. These are for you. We're so glad you're in our class. We could never forget your special day. Happy birthday, Simon. For remembering, guys. Mind. I think she's out of her little never mind. Yeah, let's bezounce a fashizzle. One-legged duck swim in 
circles? <laughs> Good one, but seriously, if it were only about one minus, you would have earned your tail long ago. This is your last chance. You must make friends with this human or you'll live out your days as a worthless, tailless imp. I get it, Big Mama, but this human is tough. She won't even look at me. Friends, I don't see that happening. Can you give me someone else? You get three chances to make friends with a human. I don't need to remind you how you first do works out. Either you make a like ya or you spend the rest of your life being referred to as baldy butt. I can't change a human, but if you so choose, I can assemble a team of helpers to assist you. I so choose. I so choose. Very well. Your team of helpers can take on the appearance of any type of human. So what would you like, soccer players, artists, cheerleaders? Hmm. Hipsters. Give me a team of hipsters. Get got it. so many pretty girls in this school. <laughs> I don't get it. Why do boys always go for girls like that? So they have expensive haircuts and designer jeans. I'm smart. I'm creative. And I don't think I'm hideous. Yeah, hideous. Thanks. You should talk to him. What? No! What do you have to lose? Just go and say hi. I, uh, do you, do you know where the bathroom is? <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. If I'm gonna get into Harvard Law School, I need to be a leader in high school. If I'm gonna be a leader in high school, I need to be a leader in middle school. I will do whatever it takes to be student body president. Hello, ladies. Love the bags. I'm so into those. Remember, vote for Aaron. He's always Karen. Bye-bye now. Ugh. Why do we let people like that into our school? Isn't there a shelter somewhere they can live in? So you had all those posters printed? That must have cost a fortune. Money isn't a problem right now. Last week, Avery and I cleared over 15000 and that was just from the locker room. You guys get along pretty well for brother and sister. I mean, I hate my brother. That's because your brother's an idiot. Avery and I make a pretty good team. And here she is now. 
How'd you do? Well, bro, you can consider your campaign fully funded. Sweet! There must be 10 wallets in there. People are so stupid. That works for me. Hey! Hey, what do you think you're doing? Is that a camera? Is that a bag of stolen wallets? So what if it is? What are you gonna do about it? Maybe I'll make a presentation at the election assembly. A video presentation. How are you gonna do that without a memory card? I have a memory card. You do, but I think it's broken. If you ever threaten me again, I will make you wish you've never been born. You don't scare me. You're a bully and a thief. And maybe there's nothing I can do about that. But I hope someday everybody finds out that you're nothing but a... A lying butthead! Did you just seriously call me a lying butthead? Mm -hmm. Ew. Do you, do you smell that? Did you do that? Gross. What did you eat last night? Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, it wasn't me. <laughs> oh yeah. Can you handle it? Can you handle me? Are you ready for me? I said, are you ready for me? Then vote for me, because looks count. Also, if you vote for me, you get a free autograph poster. So, yeah. If you feel like it, vote for me. Or whatever. And as your leader, it will be my mission that all students are treated fairly by all teachers at all times. My school will be one where we can trust each other and where backstabbing and clicks are replaced with honesty and friendship for all. You're nothing but a... Anything. 
anything? Anything. Go away. <laughs> the coffee before I leave the house, I'm a nothing but a freaking zombie. A freaking zombie. Hi, guys. Mind if I sit down for some fellowship and food? Do you smell smoke? I've never been so embarrassed. You definitely were embarrassed. <laughs> ah! People don't forget things like this. I'll never get into Harvard now. It's all her fault. Try and relax, Aaron. Come on, I bought you lunch. It's your favorite. She ruined my career. I don't even know who she is. But I'm going to find out. Amanda, do you remember the time I got you a picture of Principal Skeller picking his nose for the school newspaper? Are you kidding? Biggest story of my life. It was worth every single day of detention. Well, now it's time to pay me back. This girl, whatever her name is, wasn't working alone. Use your finely honed journalistic skills to dig up dirt on Little Miss Video and her mysterious accomplice. I'm gonna let them know what it feels like to be the butt of the joke. Ah! counselor for two years. I pick up on these things. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just been such a weird day. Things are happening so fast. I wish everything would just stop for a second. Well, what do you mean? I just need to think. I wish that I could make everything stop for a minute so I could just think. What a great idea. Why didn't I think of that? Yeah? Uh-huh. Tell you guys I went scuba diving with sharks. I think I left my bag downstairs. Come with me. What's wrong with this thing? I don't know. 
shake it. You could say that. First, nobody remembered my birthday, and then I'm at the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need the details. I was just thinking that maybe you would need a little something to uh, help you make it through the day. Whoa, wait. I'm not that kind of person. I don't do drugs. Yeah. So, uh, maybe you could think about chilling out for a second or whatever. I don't deal drugs. I've got something better. Now, don't worry. It's nothing illegal or immoral. It's just a little side business of mine. You know, I do it to make the world a brighter place. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not here. Look, this one's on the house. If you like it, I can always fix you up with more. I get lost. And remember, we never spoke. What do you think you're doing? I... I'm trying to pick up my book. Hey, did you hear that, guys? She's trying to pick up her book. Her book? Did she seriously just call this her book? Let me see that. Check it out, guys. I think this looks an awful lot like our book. Which leads to the obvious question. Where did she get it? I didn't take it, I swear. Some shady hipster guy gave it to me. Yo, we may not look like Valor Directians or anything, but we're not as stupid as we look. Do you really expect us to believe some made-up story about a shady hipster? It's true, I swear. I don't even care. You can take your stupid book. Did you seriously just call our property stupid? Because when you call our property stupid, you're calling us stupid. I think our little thief here is in need of some re-education. What? Wait, stop! Where are you taking me? Somewhere where no one will ever think to look. The library? Yeah, that's right. Our hangout. Our secret hangout. You tell us so, it'll be the last thing you ever do. I don't mean to criticize, but it's not much of a secret hangout if everybody can see you. You're gonna regret that. Trust me, you picked the wrong gang to mess with. We do things here that people wouldn't dream of in their worst nightmares. Like what? We read. Books. <laughs> Whatever. Ooh, the thief thinks she's a pup. She talks the talk, but can she look the book? 
Yeah, let's see if her brain is as big as her mouth. Look who's got nothing to say now. What's the matter? Does the thought of sitting down all alone at a table with a book make you a little nervous? We'll come back, and when we do, we'll have a three-page book report annotated, or else. I swear, sometimes life can be stranger than fiction. I don't even know where to begin describing the things that have happened to me today. Let's just say that I've been kidnapped by a bunch of library thugs who are going to beat me up if I don't write a three-page book report on Cinderella. I wish I were a princess in a storybook world. At least then people would remember my birthday. <laughs> She's gonna love this! I'm a princess! Don't get ahead of yourself, sister. Yeah, that comes later. Can we get the other green screen background, please? Green screen? I thought this was supposed to be a storybook. What do you think this is? Lucasfilms? Low budget. Deal with it. She's missing something. <laughs> now she looks the part. Go clean out the fireplace while we go cyberstalk Prince Charming. He's got more swag than a pirate ship full of dwarves. Get a hold of yourself, Casey. This is the part where your fairy godmother comes and saves you. You just all get down on the floor, you hear me? What? Who are you? What do I look like? I'm your fairy godfather, and you owe me money. What? Where's my fairy godmother? That wind bag? Probably shooting her mouth off somewhere for all I know. Wait a minute. It just got hotter. And stinkier. She must be near. That's right, Margaret. Men. Can't live with them, can't shoot them. What's them? Yeah, you got a point, Margaret. Okay, gotta go. Bye. Albert, what do you think you're doing? Aw, oh, come on, honey bun. I'm trying to work here. Can't you give a man a little space? If I saw any real men around here, I would! Ouch. Because when a real man goes to work, he doesn't forget to bring the things he needs to do his job! What are you talking about? I got an old faithful right here. Uh-huh. And what you gonna do? Bunk her with a head with it? Of course not! I'm gonna... Shoot. I forgot the bullets again, didn't I? I swear, you'd forget your head if it wasn't attached to your body. Wait! What about bringing me to the ball with Prince Charming? Aren't you supposed to send some mice to turn a pumpkin into a carriage or something? And so, I decided to dedicate my life to my one true love, you. Me? Yes, you. Aren't you a little 
underdressed for a ball. Yeah, see about that. My fairy godmother didn't quite pull Never through. mind. So anyways, I've decided to dedicate my life to my one true love, knitting. And I've decided to give up my throne and my future princess to my dim-witted half-brother, Prince Farming. <laughs> Copy, Carl. You may choose any of the eligible young women in this kingdom. Who will be your princess? Uh, she'll do, but only if she gets some glass slippers. Her feet kind of stink. Very well. We will be back in five minutes. If you have some glass slippers, then you may marry Prince Farming. If you do not, then we'll throw you in the dungeon. I'm not sure which is worse. Anyways, my fairy godmother is totally not legit, and the mice are useless. Where in the heck am I going to find a pair of glass slippers? Glass slippers. Get your glass slippers here. Everything 50% off. You had one job. No glass slippers? Very well. I guess we'll have to throw you into the dungeon. Not until I have my smooch. Come on, baby, give me a smooch. Hi there, princess. And once I got my black belt, it just wasn't challenging anymore, so I took survival backwards skiing. Next year, I think I'll start working on my pilot's license. Whoa, whoa, Aaron, put some pants on, man. Humorous. Ladies, give us a moment. Nova, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> Sorry, Aaron. You're not my type. Funny. It seems that all the girls like you. Yeah. Except for that one, of course. What? Who? Oh, it hardly matters. You can get any girl you want. Who, who cares if it's just one out of your reach? Out of my reach? Who is it? I think I'm in love. Hi, I'm Nova, like the superstar, and you are... Having the worst day of my life. Please leave me alone. I'm intrigued. People don't notice me, like I don't exist. I noticed you. You're just saying that. You're a guy. Guys have it so easy. Why couldn't I have been born a boy? Because you and I were meant to be together. Let me show you how it's like to be loved by Supernova. You're going to the bathroom. Uh. Oh. 
right. No, I, I can't do this. Oh, thank goodness, Chris, look at me. Look at me. Oh, can you believe this? Oh, smell me, smell me, I smell like a boy. Oh, see, I can't believe this is happening. I tried to go to the girls' room, but Principal Skeller stopped me. If you tell anyone we practically kissed, I will kill you. What is wrong with you? Look at my face. You're looking pretty McDreamy to me, Big Mac. Okay, change me back. Now. Why are you doing this to me? I just want to be your friend. Friends? You've got to be kidding me. With friends like you, who needs enemies? The weekly meeting of the lords and ladies of the round table now come to order. Sergeant Arms will now read the agenda. First, we will continue our debate on the topic of whether or not unicorns are real. Even though we know they are. And then we will take a quick kiosk break and finish level six of Monsters and Castle Game. The hair-lipped sorcerers twerking zombies. No more shall the undead twerk in our kingdom. Hear, hear. That's later. Now it's unicorns. Forsooth, good fellows. Forsooth. forsooth. What does forsooth mean? I have no idea. I bring incredible tidings. Cast thine eyes upon thy tidings. Mirabelle, you're the worst leading conservator to Wikipedia. Does this mean what I think it means? It does, Elowin. There's a real imp somewhere in our school. Wait, there's more. Imp sparkles? What were you thinking? That's the most toxic substance on earth. If even a single sparkle lands on your skin, you will stink like imp gas for the rest of your life. It's irreversible. Hello, role-playing geeks. I think it's time we had a little chat. Why is it that the only people who like me are psychos? These are the people I should be hanging out with. It's time for me to quit feeling sorry for myself and make that happen. I'm here for the fashion show. <laughs> yeah, right. It says all welcome, right? I told you not to put that on the sign. I totally meant all with fashion sets welcome. But there wasn't enough room. Okay, I got this. Rosaline, Pixie, would you please make this girl feel welcome? Sure, Maxine. We'll make her feel welcome. Come on, we're so glad you're here. Oh, thanks. I love your dress. Where did you get it? <sighs> Do you guys need a hand? Sure. Do you know one of the nails that don't look like they belong to a construction worker? Good one, Jocelyn. <laughs> Come on, what do I have to do? What will it take for me to be able to hang out with you guys? <laughs> you? Hang out with us? Seriously? Let's see, for that to happen, all you'd have to do is, I don't know, 
turned the entire school into one giant glee episode. <laughs> yeah, that should do it.
When imps get indigestion, it's epic, sometimes lasting for over a thousand years. The result is this. When mixed with water, any contact with human skin will result in a burning, permanent stink. No one will get within a hundred feet of you ever again. You, Casey, are about to have an entire shower of ink sparkles, and no one will ever accept you. What do you think of my little revenge plan, huh? Not bad for a stupid butthead. Help! Imp! Help! Casey? Casey, I'm coming! Munchkin, did someone forget her little word? Snickle puppies! Something's wrong. You're in a paddle pen. You've been impounded. You can't escape and your powers are useless. A paddle pen? How do you know about paddle pens? Wikipedia. It's what I do. That's impressive. <laughs> I'm sorry. He said if I didn't do it, he'd hunt down and kill all the unicorns within 10 kilometers of here. I couldn't take that chance. Unicorns aren't... Never mind. Enough of this contrived expository dialogue. You little munchkin now have a choice to make. Go back to munchkin land with no hope of ever getting your tail. Or... Or? Be my friend. Use your powers the way I ask you, and finally get your tail. No can do, Big Cheeks. Believe me, I tried. Headquarters said they couldn't give me a new friend. Correct. Imp headquarters cannot replace a target friend candidate, but Section 13, subparagraph 2D of the Imp Bylaws and Regulations states that if after being rejected by the initial target friend, the imp is approached by another human who willingly offers to be friends, it may accept. This is a once-only offer. If the imp rejects the initial offer, no subsequent offers may be accepted. What have you got to lose? Let Casey go. Let her go and you've got a deal. Of course. Considered done. Friends? Oh, there's one more thing before we uh, seal the deal. Do you know what this is? <sighs> These are for Casey. A little permanent reminder of all the things you've done. Pour these on her head and begin our friendship. No way, Jose! Fine. If you don't do it, I will. But the tail deal is off. Either way, Casey gets a diabolical case of body odor that no amount of axle deodorant can cure. I'm sorry, Casey. My magic won't work in here. But I can still whistle! Sorry, 
sorry about what I said before. I was a jerk. And I'm sorry about your tail. It's okay. It was fun. <laughs> some cookies or whatever banana blueberry my favorite oh this is for our anniversary isn't it I don't know maybe <laughs> this is our three and two-thirds month anniversary isn't he sweet see you at lunch <sighs> so anyways today is my hi kid hi Nova Hey, are you guys still up for karaoke on Friday with me and Atticus? As long as he's not going to sing, we're looking forward to it. Right, kitty cat? Nova, that wasn't very nice. You apologize right now. Oh, I'm sorry, honey bunny. It won't happen again. So, did you hear the news? Aaron finally made it into Harvard. What? Yeah, he's the test subject in the Noxious Odors Research Laboratory. <laughs> he gets free room and board in a giant odor-proof bubble. Hi, guys. Hey, did you forget what day it is? Seriously? Today is a very special day. A day of celebration. Today is Yaki Soba and Gyoza in the cafeteria! Yes! Oh, 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 yes! Happy yeah. day of my life. Oh, yeah. Best Happy anniversary birthday ever. ever. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy oh, wow. Well. Why should this year be different from any other? It is. It's time to wish you happy birthday! <laughs> this is, is your birthday song. It isn't very long. I thought everybody had forgotten. How could we possibly forget our class president's birthday? Oh, shizzle. This is incredible, you guys. I love you all so much. I wish I were big enough to give you one huge hug all at the same time. Yeah! 